Okay. Whenever you're ready. The status of physician assisted suicide remains contested because it's only legal in six states. However, the debate is reopened again and again as more people see the ethics in offering terminally ill people the choice of a dignified death. We argue that the terminally ill have a right to decide on the time, manner, and circumstances of their death if they so choose, simply that the option should be available to them. It is not unethical for patients to be given this choice, rather it is unethical to let them suffer unbearable pain and a severely compromised quality of life just for the sake of some people's opposition. The right to die is just as critical as the right to live. With respect to bodily autonomy, an end to untreatable suffering, and the right to die with dignity, physician-assisted suicide should be a legal and viable option for those who feel it's the best to for themselves. Okay. 49 seconds. Introduction, Khan. Countless people suffer every day from deadly diseases or debilitating injuries. Some people think that they have no other option than to simply lie down and die. However, dying is not their only option. They can go on and live wonderful lives. There are countless stories of people with cancer or a terminal illness going on and living the rest of their days happily. Some even find ways to resist or go around their ailment. Also, doctors are trained to care for people, to take care of us. When that trust is broken, who else can we rely on to take care of us? And also, why allow a select group of people to legally murder others? This procedure may be labeled as suicide, but it is nothing more than legalized murder. Murder is supposed to be illegal everywhere and to everyone. There is no in-between. Physician-assisted suicide should not be legal. 55 seconds. Point one, pro. that allows terminally ill patients to choose to pass away in a highly regulated and reliable manner. There are observed 44 states within the U.S. that deny citizens the right to physician assisted assisted death. Around 42% of people residing within the United States have a friend or relative suffering from a terminal, terminal illness. A substantial fraction of these people have admitted to a severe decrease in quality and value of life from the moment of diagnosis. Many terminal Many ill patients are forced to stay in bed, given no pur purpose or justification to endure one more intolerable day on earth. Stephen Hawking once stated, We don't let animals suffer, so why do humans? Animals are not even capable of requesting their assisted death, yet they have the legal ability to be put down over the voiced consent of a suffering patient. Physician assisted suicide should be legalized throughout the United States because people have the right to do what they desire to their own body. Source 3 introduces Brittany Maynard. A 29-year-old who was diagnosed with stage 4 glioblastoma multiform, a malignant brain tumor. Maynard formerly, formerly lived in California, in California until she, um, her wish to die required her and her entire family to move to Oregon. The state of California refused Brittany of her natural bodily autonomy, which forced her to leave her home and establish a new team of doctors that would offer her the one course of action that would relieve her of her misery. No one, no one should have to leave the comfort and stability of their hometown in order un to undergo a procedure that should be available, an available alternative to those who are terminally ill due to the legal right to one's own body. 139, rebuttal. <laughs> As Sophie said that people should be comfortable in their own town to be having doing physician assisted suicide but really it's just murder and people who should not be doing it in general and they should <laughs> there should be hope within instead of just relying on death when a doctor's job is to take care of their patients and also you said that like animals have this right to be put down and kill themselves but it's not like they have the knowledge or intelligence to say oh i don't want to die so 34 seconds, point one. 
Khan. In order to become a physician, an oath must be taken to respect privacy of patients as well as a pledge to be ethical in all practices and to do no harm to patients. The father of the Western Western medicine, Hippocrates, <laughs> Hippocrates developed an oath over 2,000 years ago, and it's still relevant in the medical field today. Physician-assisted suicide is, outright, is an outright violation of the Hippocratic Pledge by allowing doctors to legally prescribe le lethal injections to patients. For example, Source 1 states, the oath specifies that the primary duty of a physician is to first do no harm, and it also specifically says that a doctor shall give no deathly medicine to anyone if asked. The physician-assisted suicide in, is in direct conflict with the Hippocratic Oath, and it represents the abandonment of the vow the doctors make to care for their patients and promote welfare. Physician-assisted suicide is not death with, dig with dignity. It is unethical and it undermines not only the doctor-patient relationship, but the very commitment that physicians make to life and healing. Physician-assisted suicide is a failure and embarrassment to the medical field. Euthanasia undermines the sole reason for medical treatment and eliminates all hope for recovery or medical breakthrough. Morally, physicians should try to call, try with all of their might to keep the, their patients alive and comfortable until a natural death can follow. Okay, one minute, 20 seconds, rebuttal. On the contrary, wouldn't allowing a patient to suffer theoretically be a physician failing their duty as a physician. So choose to throw around the do not harm portion of the Hippocratic Oath, but that would be harming them more than peacefully and in an unagonizing way killing the patient. The duty of the doctor is primarily to meet all needs the patient has. So by leaving them in a state of pain, you'd be doing more harm than good. Furthermore, the Greek word euthanasia literally means good death and was coined a century after the oath was written. The word does not mean for someone to be assisting someone else's death. It just means to have a natural death without agony. Also, in Source 6, it says um, that it's best. It, um, Marcia Angel said that the argument that physicians should only be healers focuses too much on the physician and not enough on the patient. So they're just trying to stick to their oath and really they're not listening to the wants of the people. And regarding your last rebuttal, with the euthanasia of animals, you're right, the animals do not have the understanding of the circumstances. All they know is that they are in extreme pain. So, we take the decision to end their pain. In this case, we would be allowing the person undergoing the pain the decision to end their pain, not having some caretaker say, you know what, you look like you're hurt, let's put you down. This is a humane choice taken by the patient and the doctor. No one else is making the decision for them. It's not murder.